Hi, this is Exploring with Emma Stu. I'm Stu. And I'm Em. And today we're here in Colchester to give you a tour of the old Roman wall and the towers, or what's left of it anyway. Colchester not only has the earliest, but also the longest and best preserved Roman town wall in Britain. It was initially constructed between the years AD 65 to 80, after the revolt by Boudicca, who was the queen of the Iceni people of eastern England, where the whole town, which was in fact the capital of Roman Britain at the time, was completely destroyed, along with many other towns, killing thousands of people, before she was eventually defeated by the Roman army. We're actually following this guide that we picked up from the information tourism place. And we stood in, how, how are we pronouncing this one? This is the, this is the Balkan Gate. Okay, now apparently this is the oldest or, or biggest surviving part. And we'll take you around the front in a little while and you'll see actually what's left of it. It's a bit disappointing, I'm honest with you. But right now we're stood in the guardhouse. So give us a twirl. So, the okay, so, the, so let's start giving it a little bit of a twirl of the guardhouse. If there's any information I can tell you as we're walking around, I'll just chuck it in there, alright? Okay. So, so originally, um, this is apparently the largest surviving one, and it was built. Uh, it was built as the main gatehouse to the London Road. The wall was constructed not only to defend the inhabitants against attacks, but also as a statement of the Romans' power. It stretched around one and three quarters mile in length, and would have stood six meters high. The Romans built six gates at regular intervals along its length with three further gates being built in the medieval period. Of the Roman gates, only two survive above ground levels today, with the others being marked by metal plaques on the pavements. What we've got left here is, as we said, the guardhouse, and I believe the archway over there is, is, uh, is for wheeled vehicles and one for pedestrians originally. Okay. So this basically is about a quarter of what was originally here. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Go. So, so, guys. So that's uh, tower number one. Tower on number our, one uh, done. On our leaflet. Okay, so right, we're going to start so, walking through. We're going to yeah. start from the front and then go from okay, there. So I guess, you know, in the words of Tom Outdoors, let's enough go. talking. Let's get walking. Walking. Let's go. <laughs> so we're going to go through here now. This is like this is the pedestrian bit. I believe say? this would have been a pedestrian bit, and there would be carts. <clears throat> carts. That might be so, the other side. Possibly. Yeah. Okay. What we're going to do, left or right? Um, we are going. Out to the road now. We're going, left. we're going to go left, so we're going to go left. And as Let's you can, see what we can see along the way. yeah, you can see the old part of the wall there still, if you can see. So, yeah. yeah. As I say down there, North Carriageway. That's the North Carriageway. Oh, right. So this could have possibly have been remains of part of that gatehouse. Oh, North there you go. Well, that's, that's the oh, that's the footway. So yeah. This is, yeah, this is more. So you can see how big it actually would have been. Oh, of course, yeah. It would have been quite big. Okay, so we're going to. Walk down here now, guys. Got a oh, we've got another archway just here. Emma's just getting some photographs. To be quite honest with you, this is this is Emma's history. She loves Roman stuff, so for her, this is like like the explorer's wet dream, as such. But what we're going to do is, as you can see down this pathway, we're going to be walking down there in a sec. So we're going to turn the cameras off. Well, maybe we'll just and we're going to do a nice sweep. Yeah, well, that's what we're going to do. A little bit of music in. Yeah. So, you so all of our voices. Exactly. So that's what we're doing yeah. now. So, yeah. And okay. We're gonna, well, we're going to head to the next gate, which is the North Gate. So North Gate. We can pronounce that one. The North right. Gate. So come on then, let's go. Let's go. Right, put some music on. Let's go. up to a another like little archway so we thought we'd stop in here and That's quite interesting. yeah so we'll just give you a, a little bit of a, a view on what we're actually viewing at the moment sorry about the noise of the cars but this wall is right next to our main road the wall is really high here it's originally very, this wall would have been six meters high six meters six so, meters high guys and obviously it would have gone down deeper because all, over the years you know, oh yeah ground, ground and that yeah oh yeah we just uh we just thought we'd uh, turn the cameras on for a second. So, but um, when we get to the new gatehouse, 
um, well, the, the, the old gatehouse, North Gatehouse. Uh, we'll uh, turn the cameras back on, so we'll see you in a minute. We've just reached where the original North Gate was, yeah, is that right? Yeah, this is the site of which was the North Gate, North demolished Gate. in 1823. 1823. Yeah, it was just a single arched way gate, and it's small, and it gave access to the River Cone. Um, which was just would have been just down the hill here yeah, in so. Roman times, obviously. Okay. So, so. Um, they've got this nice little water fountain thing or whatever it is. Um, like, a, like a remembrance thing there. Yeah, though. It's got I don't like really a... know if it's got anything to do with the actual gate being here, but it's nice to take a little yeah, scan of it. Of course it is. Yeah. Pretty nice. Mm -hmm. So we've got the old wall there. Look, part of the old wall, and then we've got the. The information plaque just there where the north gate is so you can see it for all the bird mess yeah all the birds yeah so yeah. all right guys well, well that's hope, uh, that's the north gate for you i hope you're enjoying this at the moment because we're enjoying making it so uh right we'll go on to the next bit shall we on to the right gate right we'll see you in a minute there we go right we're just going to be doing a scan of the uh the right gate and emma's got a bit of info okay so the right gate was a medieval wall uh, that gave access again to it the river yeah. Um, it may have been formed by enlarging a, a Roman drain arch, apparently, but it was de demolished in 1659. 16. And they don't know if this is its exact location, but it was pretty much around about here. So there you go, guys. So, there you go. We're just giving you a nice little scan there mm -hmm. while Emma was just talking. Right, so we're going to carry on onwards up here. And we're going to go where this which, alleyway is, just mm -hmm. here. Which will take us through Castle Park. So, right, we'll turn the cameras off and we'll see you in a sec. All right, guys, we're just going to be walking around the perimeter of the wall now, which is just here. Um, we're going to put a night, as this is a walk and a little bit of information, we're going to be doing now um, a bit of music for you. So we hope you enjoy the music. I'm sure Emma has a great selection. So. <laughs> right, here we go. Right, guys, this part is going to go into uh, Emma's video. Yeah, this um, is just a little detour actually from our, our Roman wall walk. Um, we're, we're quite close to where we've been walking on the wall, so we thought we'd just pop over, yeah. and just have a look at these Roman remains. Yeah, and have a look. So, um, do you want us to turn it round? Yeah. Basically, I'll try and tell you what you're looking at. Okay, there you go, Emma. So, these floors basically are the remains of a Roman townhouse, and they were excavated in 1920. Um, three houses were discovered here. Um, two of them were quite grand buildings. I'm assuming that this wasn't overly grand because it's just got the little terracotta. Yeah. Um, what are they called? The tiles? Yeah. No, there's a name for them and it's gone from here. Oh, right. Well. Um, <laughs> tesserae. Oh, tesserae. <laughs> tesserae. 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 So, um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of, I think a lot of the, the material from this was, was nicked in the Norman times to build some of their buildings. So there's not an awful lot here from them. But, uh, interesting all the same you don't very often see um, tessellated floors as well preserved as this I mean obviously I'd like to see them all decorated with, with all the uh, with all animals the... and, and colours and stuff but naked people well the Ro goddesses, Ro the, Ro the, Ro goddesses. The, Rome the Romans love naked people <laughs> so yeah, yeah goddesses whatever you want to call them but pretty impressive all the same yeah there you go right then back so, to the wall back to the wall <laughs> All right, guys, we've just arrived at um, Duncan's Gate. Which was named after Dr. P.M. Duncan, who led the, uh, the earliest archaeological excavations of the wall in 1853. 1853. Sorry, I would have memorised all of this, but it's just early. Yeah, it's, it's, information for me. It is. Yeah, it is. Um, we've got so a long it, day today. And as you can see, through the bars... I'll take you around there now. And, uh, as well as the remains of the single entrance, you can also see a bit of fallen masonry, um, which is part of an archway over the gate. So, uh, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Well, there you go. There you go, there you have it.
We've actually just uh, come up to a tower, an actual significant tower that we can say was a tower. It actually looks like one, yeah, not so, just a guess. So if I turn the camera around, you can see it. There you go. It looks like you can actually walk up there, look. Yeah, it looks like it. I, well, there's actually a fence up there yeah, behind it. That's strange, isn't it. So, but yeah, but as you can see, guys, a lot along here, this is where we're going to be walking along. So we'll put a bit of music on then and we'll take a walk. So, see you in a sec. Just uh, coming up to another substantial tower. So we're going to be... Before I take a little scan of it, because it's quite, this is probably the best one we've got here. Yeah, so we're going to try it now. So I'm going to turn the camera around. You can have a look yourself. I'm going to try and step back a little bit so you can see us. Look at that. That's actually... Like the, like the dressing stone. Yeah, exactly. So we take a walk around it. And see what, see what we can actually see. The problem is we... Oh yeah, see look, it's got the window, like a, an original window area there for the tower. If you come round, round here, you can see the detail. I know, I just said, oh yeah, I know, I know. And as you can see there, guys, just going to give you a, a bit of a, Sweep of the wall. Probably not actually Roman. Like it a probably, lot of that. It's probably been a redone and in, stuff in like that ages. over the time. Yeah, but, but yeah. it was worth a good bloody look at. Actually, we're going to turn the cameras we'll off try and, and then find the site of this next gate. The next gate, and, it, and it's got some really good information on it. So we'll go from there. All right. So we'll see you in a minute. Along this um, this this uh, this wall, we've just booked into an old drainage gate. I can't actually see inside. Can you see inside that? Oh, you can't. It's not very good. Can't really. It's not very My good. My picture that I've taken actually is quite good though. Okay. Now you can't see a thing. Can't see. I can see the, the plaque there. Just yeah, gonna... I've got. I'll pop a picture in, and you can sort of see down it. Looks yeah. like it was some sort of old old, old Roman drain. old Roman drain. Yeah, it's a possibility, guys. But um, we're going to be going up to. Uh, up to where the uh, another insignificant uh, another significant tower is. Yeah. But we're what, meant to be actually talking about the gate. Um, yeah, we've got the we gate. We didn't stop where the gate was meant to be because it's on a really busy road and shoppers yeah. and obviously it comes to Christmas. Um, so we decided to stand here and tell you about it anyway. Yeah. So so that was St Botolph's Gate, and it was actually the main gateway to the cemeteries that were built outside the town. Um, oh. It was demolished in in 1814. Uh, oh. And there you go, there's not an awful lot I can tell you about it, other than it was uh, also on the procession, processional route between the Temple of Claudius and the circus um, that was over there as well. Fantastic. So um, the next remains of the gate, or the area, I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to film there either. No, we'll try, we'll try and have a look over there. We don't there, really no. want to stand when, you know, in the middle of the, no. the street, do no, But like I said, I, I have put a picture in of where, where it would have been. So. Okay, brilliant. Fantastic. Right, so let's find the sex. Right, we'll see you in a sec. All right, bye-bye. Right, Sheargate was added in the medieval period. It was built for the townspeople to give them a shortcut through to the Abbey of St John's. The site of the gateway still has shops either side as it did in the medieval times. Headgate became the main gate out of the town when the Balcarin Gate became inaccessible in the late Roman period. It was a double arched gateway and its foundations are still present near to the main junction on Head Street. After undergoing many transformations over the centuries, it was eventually demolished by 1766. Right guys, we've just come along the main road now, um, but this is a part of the wall and we're just going past the church that we can't, for some reason, can't access, it's all locked up. We're so trying we to find the last landmark on the map, yeah. some very steps. Yeah, we can't. Where in the 15th century, when a Roman drain was enlarged to create a small pedestrian gate. Um, but I think it could be here, maybe. Oh, hang on, hang on, we'll turn the camera around, Here's hang on. Give me one second. All right, guys, let's have a look at this. St Mary's Steps. Apparently near the bottom is a tower. Oh, look, it looks like we can get in there. Oh, we can, let's have a look, shall we? Come on, guys. 
Yeah. Yeah, they've actually got the church locked really tightly up. I don't know why. That is stunning. Look at that. Lovely church. There's meant to be a there is meant to be a gate or a tower near here. But um no these these steps are meant to be medieval. Medieval. Okay. So yeah. When a when a Roman drain was enlarged to create a small district gate. We really hope you've enjoyed this journey with us. We've got one more thing to say and then... Well, we're now going to walk back up to where we started. Yeah. Which was that original gate. The, uh, what do we call that? The Balkan gate. Balkan gate, yeah. And we, that means we've done a mile and a half. Is it mile and a quarter? Nearly half. two miles. Nearly two miles, yeah, actually. We've had to take a bit of a detour, though, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, with some of it, because we couldn't get into some yeah. areas. Yeah. But yeah, all right. Well, we're going to take a walk over to there yeah, and we'll... And we'll walk back to where we started from. And we'll just do see our goodbyes. Then. So see you in a minute. Bye. Right, hi guys, we're uh, back at the Balkan Gate now. Right, so that ends the tour of the of the old Roman culture school. Fantastic. And we hope you've enjoyed it anyway. Yeah. In, an, in our next video we're going to be doing a few landmarks around Colchester, which will also include some Roman stuff as well. So maybe check that out in the next week or two as well. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, and uh, right, we'll do a quick sweep and then we'll, we might as well say goodbye. So, see you later. That's from Evan's show.